Hey, what's up guys? So this is the S20 Ultra. Now Samsung have come out with this brand new video recording mode. It's called Live Focus Video, as you can see there. Now what this does is this basically blurs the background of a particular subject. Now, obviously I don't have anyone in front of me, but today I'm gonna be reviewing to see how good this new feature is. Now what this does is it tries to mimic mirrorless and DSLR cameras and um, real movie recorders where you can get a nice bokeh and a nice 3D depth of field in the background. So I'm gonna give you a sample clip I've just taken and show you my thoughts on how good this uh, feature is or how bad this feature is. So let's get straight into it. All right guys, so I've just asked my friend to sit here while I take a live focus video. As you can see, I've turned the mode on and it does recommend that you be about one to two meters away from the subject to get the uh, optimal live focus background there. So it's not looking too bad actually, it's something different. I do like it from Samsung and I can see here that it's not absolutely perfect. If I just move away, I'll try to see how quickly the autofocus adjusts and it does take a little bit of a while, maybe a few seconds there. But when I go back and point at the subject, the autofocus is relatively quick and I can see the blur again. Now, if I'm having a look at an object, I can see that it took a while again here just to focus on it. So this suitcase, it just took a while to gather that in the viewport. Now, back on my friend, I'm trying to adjust the uh, brightness and the contrast just to see if that helps with the background a little bit. But I can see some of the blur blends into his body as well. Now, when I'm moving around, sometimes I notice that there's a bit too much blurness on his body as well, and it's not completely smooth. As I'm walking around in a circle around him, I try to see if the whole thing is maintained. And overall, like for it being such a new feature, I think it does a relatively good job. If I move backwards, he stays a little bit in focus, but obviously two meters is the ideal uh, length of distance. Now, if we have a look at some of the filters that come with this, this one is called glitch. You can change the background to do different things. This one is color point. This is nothing. And then you can also choose big circle. Now, big circle, I needed to go around and you'll see what happens here. It just massively blurs the entire background, leaving the subject only in the viewport there in the middle of the screen. It's not perfect. There's some edges around his face that wasn't there quite, but you can go through these different filters. They have an intensity level up to seven. So you can tone that down if you'd like to. But it's one of those things that I think is pretty cool. It's in the early beta stages, but it's not something that I see myself using very often. So that's it guys. Any questions, drop them down below. Otherwise, I hope you subscribe and I'll see you next time.